Hi guys, and welcome to Lake House Vlog, summer of 2019. I don't think that I've shared any vlogs here at our lake house this entire summer. Um, I'll leave a link above if you guys want to check out our lake house vlogs, but I'm pretty sure I have not been here in a really long time. We traveled a lot this summer and we spent time down at the Jersey Shore and we spent time in Puerto Rico. And really we have not been here at our lake house like the entire summer. So I'm happy to be here now. And what's really exciting is I'm here alone for at least two or three days, which is crazy. And any of you moms out there can totally appreciate like this having time alone thing because it's just, it's so, I don't know. I'm like really excited for it, but at the same time, it's so quiet and lonely here, but I am appreciating just having this quiet time to myself to do whatever I want, which for me is kind of an anxiety right now because I'm like, okay, I have all this time to myself. Like, I feel like I should have a wish list of all the things I always want to do when I'm home alone that I never really have an opportunity to do. So the first thing that I'm doing is finishing this book. This is Little Fires Everywhere and I've been reading it for the last week and I'm just about done. I have like another two chapters left and then I brought this book to read after which is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. So that'll keep me busy for a little while but there's just so many things that I want to do with this alone time and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me as I just kind of relax and enjoy some alone time here at the lake. I have Leo with me. Leo, I don't know if you can see him, he's back there. He's feeling lazy right now. I just took him for a good walk around the lake and I think I'm going to give him a bath later, which is something we hardly ever do. Oh, you can't even see him. Here he is, my puppy. Are you gonna take a bath today? What do you think about a bath? Good boy, Paul. <gasps> Paul, give me your paw. Good boy. So me and Leo are gonna have some fun one-on-one -on -one time this week. Chester went home, our other dog Chester, if you're not familiar with my dogs, Chester went home with the family, but Leo is staying with me for a couple of days. He's gonna be my little watchdog. Okay, you can go relax now. <laughs> you can go back to sleeping. So I might give him a bath later. That's like one of the things I want to do because I'm sure since it's just the two of us here, I'm probably going to let him climb in the bed and snuggle with me tonight because he is like a big teddy bear, but I want him to be clean because we've been like walking all around the lake and I'm so worried about ticks and things and his paws are really muddy. So I want to get him nice and clean so we can snuggle later. <laughs> so now I think I'm going to take our paddle boat out with my book and I'm just gonna float in the middle of the lake and read for a little while. Probably not gonna bring my camera just in case I flip the boat. It's highly unlikely, but I don't wanna ruin my camera. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, so I finished this book out on my boning adventure <laughs> and now I'm contemplating if I wanna give Leo a bath. We're both feeling so lazy right now. I don't know. It's a production to give him a bath and I have to like get him in the tub and then I have to blow dry him because look at all this fluff. But I really want him to be clean because he's kind of stinky. So I might just have a cup of tea and then we'll uh, give Leo a bath. See how we feel. Leo, you want to take a bath? Do you want to take a bath? <laughs> you need a bath, buddy. Yes, you do. I want you to be nice and clean. You got such a cute face. All right, we'll see. So friends of ours stayed here and left these little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> this is right up there with like Twinkies and devil dogs and ding dongs and like whatever, <laughs> all those things I never eat, but I'm feeling like something sweet. There's hardly anything at all to eat in this house. I just had some blueberries, but that really did not fill me up. So I'm going to try one of these and see how I like it. So you guys might actually think I'm crazy, but I'm going to make a list of everything that I want to do in uh, these couple of days that I have here by myself. I didn't say much about this book because I will cover it in my tea talk and book banter in September, but it was a very interesting book and 
very, very controversial, but it was really good. It was very well written. I don't want to really talk about it because I like to do that when I do my tea talk, but I'm going to have my tea and my little Debbie oatmeal cookie here. And I'm going to make a list of things that I want to do while I have a few days here all to myself. So I just finished my list and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I'm going to do on my couple of days here alone. And I'm watching my favorite YouTuber, Jennifer Ross. It's a day in the life from 2013. I like sometimes binge watch her old stuff. I don't know why. I just, I love her channel and I love her vlogs. And she actually just gave her dog Winnie a bath. So now I'm inspired. I'm going to go get the bathroom ready and set up and I'm going to give Leo a bath. Although her dog is a lot smaller than Leo. <laughs> I'm going to have to wrestle him into the tub. But anyway, here's my list. Um, these are like just kind of like a wish list things that I don't always find time to do at home with the family so it'll be fun to do here when I'm by myself for a couple of days so um, yoga I do do every morning but I can do a longer practice while I'm here journal I have a lake house journal that I keep and I only write in it when I'm here so it's kind of fun but I haven't done it in a long time and then I brought my Erin Condren life planner so I can start planning out the upcoming weeks as we're headed back to school. And then I also have some videos to edit. I am currently vlogging because it's something I love doing and I hope you guys aren't bored yet <laughs> with it. Um, beach time, read. I wanna take the paddle board out, walks with Leo. I wanna check my PO box. And then I also wanna reply to letters if I hopefully have some in my PO box <laughs> that I can reply to. And tea time, just basically relaxing and having a cup of tea. It's something I don't get to do all that often. We have a bookstore not too far from here and they sell really old books, like really old. So sometimes it's fun to see what they have. And then I need to organize the kitchen and organize the master bedroom closet because we haven't been here in so long. Things are kind of uh, messed up and not organized appropriately. So I am just going to finish watching this vlog and finish my tea and then I'm going to bathe Leo. Okay, Leo, it's time. Come on. Leo does not like baths, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm gonna have to lock him in here with me but I have the towel set up and I like this shower head because I can keep it on like a very um, gentle like pressure. And then I just have his shampoo here and over, hi Leo. I have his brush here and I have to make sure I have a blow dryer because I'm gonna need the blow dryer to dry him off. I gotta find the blow dryer for you, Leo. And then we're gonna be all set. Are you excited for your bath? Oh, he's coming right in. All right, it's a good sign. Let's get you clean. Okay, guys, that was a struggle. <laughs> I had to lift him into the tub and he's so heavy and he hates being wet. I need to dry his ears out. I think we're gonna go in the sunshine for a little while and dry off before I get the blow dryer and the brush out. Okay, let's get you out in the sun, Leo. And there he is, all fluffy and clean. Come here, Leo. Set. Good boy. So I took him down to the dock to dry off in the sun and that worked really good. And then I just gave him a quick little blow dry and he is all nice and clean now. So that was fun. <laughs> My house stinks like wet dog now, but it was worth it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get ready to have some dinner. Last night we went to a really good restaurant at the Wayne Hotel, which is in Honesdale. And that's Pennsylvania, in case you didn't know. Our lake house is located in Pennsylvania. And we had a really good meal. The hotel was built in the late 1800s and I love that style. I just love the decor of it. The ceilings were all of like those old tin ceilings and it was pretty cool. There is a restaurant inside the hotel. It's called Bistro 1220 or Bistro, Tw Bistro 1202. I'll leave it 
somewhere down here, but the food was good and I have a lot of leftovers because they gave me a full plate of pasta. So that's gonna be my dinner tonight. I still have to get to the store. I am living on like minimal food right now. There's not much here at all, but I'm making do with it because I just didn't wanna leave today. It was such a nice day and it's just sunny and warm and we might get rain tomorrow so i'll save the shopping for any like rain day that i have in the next couple of days so i hope that you guys are enjoying my very dull day that basically consisted of reading and giving leo a bath <laughs> but i'm going to have some dinner now and i might head out to the dock to watch the sunset because the sunset here is just beautiful and then i don't know what's going to happen next so stay tuned i'm sure it's going to be really thrilling and exciting so i was just reading this for a while at the dock and i'm glad that i decided to read this before the summer is over because the traveling pants travel over the summer months and it's really a fun read so i'm glad that that was my choice but while i was reading this big horse fly just like landed on one of the pages it had these big beautiful like transparent orange wings and it sat there for the longest time the wind was blowing pages turning and it just sat there so just one of the magical moments of being at the lake that i thought i would share with you guys i'm going to get back to reading this though because it is pretty funny dinner is served can you guys believe this is leftovers i had like twice the amount last night it is so much food and there's broccoli and sun-dried tomatoes in here and it's like a alfredo sauce really really yummy very garlicky <laughs> but i love garlic and it looks really good so this is dinner so this is as much as i can possibly eat and look at all the oil in this it's kind of making me a little bit nauseous hey leo and also i'm still trying to get through this vlog Jen is also having leftovers, but you can see hers are way more healthy than mine. My pasta with some kind of a fettuccine oily <laughs> sauce going on, probably like 2000 calories. She's having zucchini and a turkey burger. So yeah. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Right, Leo? What are you going to do? So each chapter of this book has these really cool quotes to start each chapter, and I really like this one. Today is the tomorrow we worried about yesterday. I thought that was so good. And then there was one other one that I, well, I've only read two chapters, so. <laughs> but luck never gives, it only lends. Really fun little quotes to start off each chapter of the book. So can you guys believe I forgot the charger for my laptop? And the problem with that is I only have the cord to charge up my iPhone that plugs into my laptop. I don't have like the block that plugs into the wall. So this is a dilemma. I certainly don't want to be stuck out here in the middle of the lake with no internet connection and no cell phone. <laughs> So I just ordered from Amazon the um, charger for this. So hopefully it comes tomorrow at my P.O. box and fingers crossed. I'm going to check it tomorrow afternoon because that's really going to stink if I'm without a phone and without a laptop for the next couple of days. I am just sitting out here waiting for the sun to set. Look at how pretty this is. And every once in a while I just hear like a splash in the water and I'm not sure if it's a snake <laughs> or a fish but it is so quiet here. I think I am like the only person here and it's just so beautiful. So I'm just relaxing and watching the sunset and then I'm gonna head back in and get ready for bed. This is my setup here in my bedroom and I brought my planner. Isn't this cute? I love the interchangeable covers that Erin Condren has and they don't really have any like holiday ones anymore, which is really sad. I was looking for Christmas or Halloween. I currently have a really cute Halloween one. I'll share that with you guys as it gets closer, but this is my summer cover and I just love it with the seahorse and starfish and just all of this nautical stuff so anyway i think i'm going to plan the month of september i brought my sticker book i don't remember if i ever showed this to you guys but i got this at michael's craft store and i just love the way it has all of like 
these pages are kind of like sectioned off in doubles so that you can store the you know the sheets that you get from Etsy they're usually like about that size so they slip right in and I probably should have it better organized but I have all of my planner stickers so I can really theme it up and make it cute. I haven't spent much time in my planner lately. I'm just kind of jotting things down and not getting creative. So that'll be fun to do tonight. And then I also have a bunch of postcards for my travels this summer. Wherever I went, I picked up postcards so that I can write you guys back. Some of you I did write from you actually from the location, but I haven't checked my PO box in a while. So I hope that I can send you guys some postcards, those of you who have reached out to me. And that is my setup. I'm gonna do that for a little while and then I'm probably going to settle down and go to bed. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was not all that exciting or thrilling, just a basic day in the life. I just thought it'd be fun to bring you along with me. I finally have some time alone and I can freely vlog as much as I want. So I'm actually having a really good time doing it. So I hope that you're like enjoying watching it and, and I'm not boring you away. Let me know as always if you made it till the end and please give this video a thumbs up and like, subscribe, comment, all this stuff. It keeps my channel alive and I totally appreciate it when you guys do do that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog every day that I'm here, but I might. I'll see what I'm feeling like tomorrow. So maybe there will be more to come. Um, and if not, thank you anyway for watching. I hope that you've been enjoying all of my travel vlogs over the summer. They have been so much fun to share with you guys. So I truly hope that you are enjoying them too. And I hope that you had a great summer. I know it's coming to an end, it already has for many of you. I know a lot of you already have kids back in school. Mine are going very soon. So I am going to enjoy the last little bit of summer vacation that we have. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you real soon. Take care, bye.